Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today it's going to be a big one. Today we have the Logitech Teams meeting room solution for small meeting rooms. Uh, meaning we have the Logitech Rally Bar Mini together with the Logitech Top. So we'll have to go through a lot. These things can do a lot. We'll also need to set it up, configure it correctly. So it's going to be a big one today again. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Okay, so we're going to start with the Logitech Rally Bar Mini. And so we have the box and immediately in that box there is uh, pretty much the same small box in it. It's not always that handy to do so. There we go. And this box contains our Rally Bar. So if we open it up, you need to use something to open it up of course. So as you can see, brand new. And the first thing we find is a small setup guide. A setup guide which shows us how to set up this bar in the different kinds of, of setup possibilities. A appliance mode, standalone mode, and if you uh, want to use it for bring your own device setups. A really handy one if you're confused with how the cabling needs to happen, which cable needs to go with which component, etc. For example, how to connect the rally bar with the top it's always in here in this installation guide and then i'm going to turn around this box we immediately find the rally bar with a lot of foam so it does take some puzzling to take it out but at last i'm going to put the box aside for a second we have our rally bar mini which is inside these foils. There we go. This is our Rally Bar Mini. And if we look further in the box, we find some extra components, some extra cabling. Uh, we have an HDMI cable. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable as well. We have a power cable, HDMI, and we have the remote control. And just to finish it off, we also have a little camera cap, a little like that, um, which you can put over the camera if you want, together with the AI camera, just to cover the camera up. It's not really needed, but if you want to, it's included in the box as well. And of course, you have a little box with extra power adapter and you have the power cord already in here but you also need the power adapter for the to turn on so we have these components i'll put these boxes away there you go and so as you can see in the front we have our bar which has uh, the speakers in front and on top of them Inside we have the microphones as well, so both the sound will, so the input and the output, sorry, will go through this bar. And we also have the camera. You can see we have two of them. We have one main camera, main lens, which is the, yeah, the camera being used to broadcast the video to the Teams meeting. And we also have this little one. This is a little AI camera, which tracks the persons in the room. So the camera can adjust zoom in, zoom out, pan, tilt, whatever it needs to do to get everyone inside of the picture. So this all happens automatically. You can adjust that via the top, which we're going to go through in a minute. And if we turn this camera around, we have the location where we need to put all the cables inside of them. We have this little cover, which we can easily open with our hands. Yeah, these two screws if you're not really it's using a um, yeah it's using a special screw it's not using a cross or a stripe or anything but as you can see you can already put all the cables in here really handy by the way guys 
Logitech keeps the cable management in mind. It's not that all the cables will be just fixed up underneath or above the, the, the bar. You can easily put the cameras right here inside of these clips. So the cables are really neat inside of the uh, bar. And it's also written down what you need to plug in where. Right? You have the power, extra mic pots, for example, USB-A, USB-C, HDMI input and HDMI output. Why do we need the input? Well, of course, we will have the possibility if we use this as an appliance mode to connect our computer via HDMI. In this video, we will be using this as a standalone meeting room device with the Logitech top, meaning the HDMI ingest will go through the, uh, the top instead. Talking about the tap, I'm going to put this right here. The Logitech top is the, yeah, the control panel, let's put it like that, that we're going to connect to this rally bar. And if I put this all the sides, we have our second box, the top. This top is going to be the device that's going to be either on the table, can be mounted on the wall as well. Uh, it, there are several options to do so. Uh, there are also mounting options you can put on the table so it stays central but with a spinning uh, mount as well. But as you open up the box, again, it's a box in a box. Ooh. But you have again a setup guide. And again, with all the different kind of uh, solutions, standalone, if you put it into a meetup, a rally bar, or a large meeting room, how to connect it, yes or no. The, the warranty, also important. And the first thing we find is this small box. And in this small box, we find all the cabling we need. And we have our HDMI cable. So if you have both of them, a lot of HDMI cables. So if, you're sh if you have a shortage of them, just buy this, <laughs> you have some spares. Uh, you have a little washing cloth, just with, with the Logi logo up. Very nice, very neat. Mm. Cut six, UTP cable, just for your connection, of course. And a longer one, I think this one is five meters. This is three meters, but you have both of them inside as well. And one thing that is really important, your tap needs to be connected with power. So, back in the days, it, needs, it, it was used with USB-C from the bar to the tap. Now, we have this little uh, power over ethernet injector which needs to be used. Now we can't say we don't use it. Why? The tablet needs too much power to just be powered by PoE. But this little thing needs to be, yeah, between the circuit of the bar and the tap. It doesn't matter where. Is it behind the top? Is it really close to the tap? It, it, it really doesn't matter. It just needs to be inside of it. As you can see, you have an input and an output. And inside of this box, you also have the different plugs. So if you're, you're in Europe, as we are, you have this plug, but it also contains plugs for US and UK, of course, as well. So really handy thing, but it's needed. And to connect the other side to the rally bar, you also have a uh, Ethernet to USB-A splitter that needs to be connected to the rally bar. So this USB-A needs to be behind the rally bar and the UTP cable coming from the tap needs to be injected in this little box. And yeah, one thing I, that I really don't get, if you really, really have a shortage of plugs, <laughs> there are a lot of them inside of these boxes. But again, we only need um, yeah, the European one. Um, but yeah, you can choose whatever you want. They're all included, a lot of them. Put that on the side as well. And then of course, le moment suprême, as they say in French, the tab itself. There you go. This little thing is our tab. It's a touch screen that we're going to put on the table, on the wall, wherever you want. Um, we don't have, uh, well, we, I don't have a wall mount or anything. 
because we are going to use it on the table. But as you can see, there is a little mounting on the uh, bottom of the tap where you can put it, at, for example, like this on the wall if you want to, or in the middle on the table with a mount so it can turn around. But we're going to use it just as a tablet, so it is going to be just on the table like that and people can use it as they want. On the back, we have the same screws, by the way. So where the cables need to be plugged in, we also need to unscrew this. Same thing, just can happen with the hand as well. And if you put it off, you see pretty much the same thing as we have with the bar. Logitech really keeps the cable management in mind. And you have little uh, brackets to put your cables behind. You have also little plugs to plug in your cables as well. And also where you need to plug in the cable, it's also written down in here. Uh, HDMI in, USB A, Ethernet, your power, it's all in here. So these two devices need to be connected. Can take a while. Uh, you have a lot of accessories as well for this rally bar. You can put it on the table, you can put this on the table as well. For us, our setup we're going to show now in the time lapse is going to be with the TV mounts. Uh, you can buy accessories to let's say put this bar and say we mount it to the TV instead of a wall mount or another uh, on the table for example. So we will use a wall mount, a uh, TV mount, excuse me. Um, to mount this, uh, well, to make this bar fixed on the on the TV instead of the wall. So again, a lot of cables, a lot of setup, a lot of configuration. We'll now plug everything in, configure the meeting room, and I'll see you back when everything is ready for the initial setup. Yeah, troubles. So this is the TV mount and um, the little screws we use to actually hang the TV up are too short. So we can't attach the TV mount to it. Shit. <laughs> so we're going to have to find another solution. Um, we're going to find uh, other screws, but in the meantime, we're going to uh, use another setup and we're going to put the meetup, uh, the rally bar right there and hang this TV uh, wall mount, uh, TV mount, uh, another time. Can happen. So, cable connected, Ethernet connected as you can see. You can also go for the wireless connection if you want. Eh? If you don't have the possibility to have cabled, uh, wired connection, sorry, you can also use a wireless connection. But I'm going to use the wired connection. We're going to use the automatic setup DHCP. You can choose for a static IP address. It's totally up to you. For uh, ease of use, I'm going to use DHCP. And then it's going to be establishing the connection. So it's going to set everything up, go to every network setup and check if everything is reachable, yes or no. So it's going to say uh, a critical update is required, it's going to use that mostly. So you just say update now and it will, uh, as you can see on the screen right now, it's going to say update now and on the screen you will have uh, the updates that it's going to update right now. So finally, eh, the meeting uh, the meeting room has been updated. First thing we need to do is the video service provider. Uh, you can see you can select for Zoom, BYOD, Ring Central, Go to Meeting Room. Uh, we're going to of course choose for Microsoft Teams. Ah, the boy. Next, 
and then it's going to set up everything. You see also it, it, it went uh, dark, uh, the dark uh, scene because your teams is also adjusted for this. You can have this uh, remote control if you want to. Yeah. Um, it's not necessary, but it's still a possibility. Woo. And with this, uh, with this connector, with this remote control, you can co yeah, control everything if you want to pick up, uh, control the camera, uh, zoom in, zoom out, volume up and down. It's not really necessary because the uh, camera, the, me the Rally Bar Mini will take care of everything and you can pick up calls with the tap instead. So it's not really necessary, but it's a nice just uh, it's a nice addition and if you really want to brand it for teams there is a little teams sticker right here which you can <laughs> paste on the remote if you want to but we'll just go to put that on the side there you go press next and we're going to skip this step but we firstly of course need to uh, sync the meetup with the Logitech sync portal if you use this we always use this um, but to know more about this check below for the link I'm going to write a blog post about this so uh, you know how this works for now we're going to skip this step you can always do that afterwards so you have the installation summary what's your IP address everything is here you connect the devices, the Rally Bar Mini Remote, and you can use a test. So you can use the camera test, speaker test, microphone test, and your network connection. And let's start with the network connection. Successfully connected to the servers, meaning everything should work as expected. You can also test the microphone. If you press the microphone, you can press start to record as you can see the microphone is recorded and you can then uh, play it back to yourself again so if you can see press start to record and as you can see the microphone is recorded and you can then uh, play it back to yourself again there you go so the microphone works you can do the same with the speakers really catchy song but it works <laughs> so it works and then you can have the camera image as well and you can see everything for zoom and uh, to zoom and to uh, control everything is right there and as you can see right on the screen we see our camera there you go hey <laughs> so behind the scenes so you can see the camera works as well you can test every uh, component that is uh, connected to the top and as soon as we did everything you can just press check bit of an explanation on how to use BYOD mode but with this uh, with this setup we're not going to use it but you can use if you don't use the tap um, use a USB cable or HDMI to use it as a peripheral for your uh, device so we're going to skip the tutorial installation complete uh, great job finishing up and then we will find the login for Microsoft Teams so we will use our device to log in so we will navigate to uh i'm going to get my laptop for a second so we will navigate to the url that's on there eh? microsoft.com slash device login and we need to fill in the code this code is also on the tab uh, so you just fill in the 3 m 9 m 5 c 7 5 don't fill up the same uh, number because every single uh, code is different so if you're going to write this down yeah you won't be able to uh, log in on any device even on mine because that's a regenerated code so nice try but we're not going to do that next it's going to find our device and we will use the uh, meeting room we are using uh, we are in a meeting room called Devilstein so banana cell Devilstein and then of course the password there you go it asks are you trying to sign in <laughs> yes i am trying to sign in and then it says okay you're signed in and then on your tab you see it is signing in it is registering the device to the company portal to intune because it's using intune on the back side and on your uh, screen you see also welcome to microsoft teams and as soon 
as it is finished with setting up the device, your calendar will get here, you will be able to join up Teams meetings uh, and we will be able to, uh, yeah, to do everything with the device. So we'll just wait a few minutes for the device to finish up. Right, so we're logged in. You already see the meet now possibility, the share possibility, and you can use the button more to go for feedback, to change the volume as well, to use the settings to uh, yeah, configure everything. And on the screen, you will see uh, the uh, meeting display with the calendar as well. If there are any meetings today, yes or no. And if there are, it will be displayed as well. So you will already see a lot on the screen, but that doesn't mean that you can't use this meeting room right now. So what we'll do right now, eh, instead of just planning a meeting, we'll use the meet now functionality. It doesn't it, it doesn't make a, a difference if we use a scheduled meeting or a meet now functionality. What's the meet now functionality? Just ad hoc meetings. I can use this tablet to call, for example, myself. Meet now. I'm going to invite myself. There you go. Start meeting. And there you go. So uh, I've invited myself to the meeting room or my clients uh, and as you can see you pretty much have the same uh, feeling as you have with a Teams meeting on your computer. You can invite more people if you want to, if you type a name or anything you can just invite more people. You can uh, look at the participants, yes or no, you can start sharing but of course uh, there is no HDMI connected just yet. But if you have an HDMI connected to your tab and you put it into your computer, your tap will take care of the sharing so you don't need to use your laptop to join the teams meeting share your screen you don't you don't need to do that anymore just plug in the hdmi and we're done you can also do that with the logitech switch but that's for another unboxing video you also have the volume which can be louder or less louder quieter i guess you can enable the camera you can mute your microphone as well if you see that boop, there you go I remute it and you can hang up as well and more things you can also put a call on hold turn live captions on a remote control of the dial pad maybe but you can use this device to actually just manage your device i can mute via the tap i can mute the other attendees as well so you don't need your laptop again to um to um yeah to manage everything, you can use this device to manage everyone, to uh, remove someone, to mute someone, turn off the camera. You can do this everything with this device. The other way around works as well. Uh, if I'm going to hang up right now, and I'm going to do the other way around, I call ended, I can also call this device from my Teams. Meaning, if I need uh, to call this meeting room just to uh, call the people who are in here or just join the meeting with my device I can use my teams client to call the meeting room and you will see that if I'm calling uh, you will see there is an incoming call with the uh, teams video as well so I can accept there you go we're in pretty much the same thing I can press up uh, enable the camera and we're in the same uh, scenario again so yeah it's you can do everything with this um, it's a really nice standalone meeting room device with uh, AI as well so if you uh, are in a meeting room and for example uh, your camera huh? So the really nice thing with this meetup, eh, you will see right here, if I'm going to, I'm just going to move around. Eh. Hi. <laughs> but the AI camera will track who is in the meeting room and it will automatically adjust the camera by zooming in, panning on who is in the meeting room. There you go. So I'm back in screen again and it will automatically adjust the screen, the zoom, the width of the screen to yeah, display anyone in the meeting room. So if I'm going to move back to my lovely assistant camera, uh, can you, how do I call you? Hello. Mm. 
eh, the camera will move back uh, to uh, yeah to our just us the two of us there you go so it will always focus on just us so it's a really nice device uh, it's a really standalone device and yeah the quality is fine the quality is really good so let's go to the summary of this shall we all right I told you it's going to be a big one but this was the unboxing of the Logitech meeting room setup for small rooms with the Rally Bar Mini. As you can see, a lot of things, there is a lot of possibilities to use this device together with the tab to actually use your meeting room as a standalone user. Let's put it like that. Uh, so you don't need to have to bring your own device. You can do that, by the way. You can bring your own device. You can still use BYOD devices for uh, this meeting room purpose, this meeting room setup. But the really nice thing about this is that this setup is just standalone. It uses the identity of the meeting room. It uses everything that is needed for a Teams meeting. And you don't need to have a Teams client on your own because you can use the HDMI ingest from the top. So this is one of the three uh, meeting room setups that uh, you have the small the medium which is the rally bar and the large which is the rally plus which is also being unboxed in another video about talking other videos by the way seamless cut over if you want to see more videos if you want to see more of these unboxing videos please support the channel by subscribing liking also check the subscription below the description below sorry Oof. check the description below for the blog and thanks to Logitech for providing us with this. And I will see you in one of the next unboxing videos. Bye!